Hi guys, it's great to be back. I've got some great news and this is going to be an updated video. Today is July 12th and it's about 10:14 at night, so I guess better late than never. But you're also going to see some other videos that I've uploaded or um, that I had recorded a long time ago and I just haven't had the chance to edit and upload it. So you're going to see a mixture of things. I think there's uh, a video of when I found out that I got into nursing school that in March, so that was quite a while ago, and I uploaded, I recorded that video, so I was really excited. I think I have a video about what kind of nurse I want to be. I think I have a video on... So today I am going to kind of update you. It's going to be kind of repetitive of if you watch the other videos, but this is just going to be kind of a recap. I got into nursing school, like I said, and I found out in March. So I've known for quite a while now since it's July. So it's kind of settled in. I am totally excited. I start in the fall, so I start August 26th, I believe, is the um, first day of class. And I can, I j it just cannot come fast enough. Everybody thinks I'm so nerdy because I just can't wait. I'm so excited. I love, 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 love school. My mom always said, um, knowledge is power, and I truly, truly believe that, and I, school gives me so much confidence, and I know that's really weird to say, but um, it's, 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 a, it's, it's an accomplishment to get an A on a test that you've worked extremely hard for, and you studied extremely hard for, and it's so rewarding to um, get those good grades something else. So I got a new phone. It's the Galaxy S4 and this is not nursing related but it has like a really cute coral case and I think it's cute. And this is my cat and she's adorable. So and you might see her in this video because she's still a kitten and she likes to jump up on my lap and stuff. So books. I've gotten all my nursing books. I don't have my kit yet, my clinical kit with all the syringes and my stethoscope. Um, I won't get that till orientation, which is August 22nd, where I will get my scrubs. I've ordered them, I just won't pick them up till orientation. So, like I said, that's August 22nd. I have my CPR certification August 3rd. And I have, I don't know, Monday I have to go and get my shots and my titers done and my physical exam. For spilled ice cream. A slob. I mean, I guess that is kind of sloppy, but it was. I mean, it's my boyfriend's. My boyfriend's brother's wife is a nurse, and she gave me this, so I thought this was nice. It's a nursing diagnostic handbook, and it pretty much just gives you outcomes and related factors and interventions and. All kinds of planning out, you know, checklist card thingies. Um, and this is something else she gave me. It's a evidence-based practical manual for nurses. It's probably the same as, I've got a theories and concept book for nursing. It's probably the, like, you know, the same thing for her. Just different wording. <clears throat> but I don't know if I'm going to go through this. Because I heard theories can be kind of a snooze fest. No offense for anybody that likes theories. Just my friend, she had a really hard time. She's, my friend's in the same program as me, but she started it last year. So she's kind of going to help me out a little bit, give me a little bit more advice, which is nice. I've got a little bit of an upper hand. And I'm surrounded by nurses. My mom's a nurse. And my, boy, my boyfriend's brother's wife's a nurse. And my aunt's a nurse. So I've got all kinds of nurses around me. Um, this is my actual book that I bought. Um, theory and, and Reasoning in Nursing, and it's for my Intro to Theories and Concepts. This was the class that she had a hard time with. I was actually there while she was trying to read this, and she just always had a hard time with it. And weird enough, I mean, she took pharmacology, and she was taking, I think, Theories and Concepts, too. And she struggled more in Theories and Concepts than she did in Farm. So, you know, to each his own. Everybody has their own little weaknesses. Manual for 
um, the American Association of Psychology, the American Psychological Association, I had it backwards, um, <laughs> this pretty much is APA, I think it's just, the, um, we're going to be writing in APA format when we're writing our um, papers, so they just want us to know how to write an APA. This was a recommended book for my college. It's a test success, test taking techniques for beginning nursing students. Um, I bought this because it was only $30 and it's recommended and I buy all the books that are recommended because you can never have too much information, especially when it comes to something that you're, <clears throat> you know, wanting to do for the rest of your life and you want to be good at it. So I know a little bit what to expect because my mom's a nurse and, and she went through nursing school when I was young. So, I know how hard it is, you know, my friend just went last year through it, and she told me how hard it is, so I've got a little bit of a background with it, um, doesn't mean I'm going to be good at it, because these questions, so this pretty much just gives you questions, and it teaches you how to critically think, how to become, how to become a better critical thinker, how to not procrastinate, which is something I need to work on. This is my medical and terminology book. <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is particularly for any class. I think it's just more for reference because you're definitely going to need to know like Brady I think is slow and techy is fast or something like that. I don't know. I think so. I think it's in here. Yeah. Yeah. And it's cool because it, I don't know if I can do this. It has these little things in the back that you can rip off, which I plan on doing. And on the back side is the definition. How freaking awesome is that? It's great. All right, this is the big monster. This is Fundamentals of Nursing. It's by Craven. And I haven't read this yet, so I don't know what it's about. I don't even know what Fundamentals is about. So, oh, and that's for my, uh, I think that's for my, I don't even know what that's for. Maybe my health assessment. This is my nutritional foundations and clinical applications. I know this is for therapeutic diets because it's nutrition. So that's where my, I haven't gone through this yet. But it's probably like, you know, your macronutrients and all that. This is Moby's Dictionary. Um, we had to get this. And it looks awesome. I mean... Just, <clears throat> I don't even know, uh, just crazy how much stuff is in here. And this is my health assessment, physical examination and health assessment. This is actually for my physical examination and health assessment lecture, believe it or not. And that's all my books. So this was a very long video, and I am so glad that I am back, and I missed you guys so much, and I hope you guys missed me, and this is, like I said, a very long video, and I'm so excited. Um, when I get my clinical kit, I will totally open it up and show you guys everything that's in it, and I, I, all right, I think I'm going to start reading some of these books. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!